You now start with Pythagoras theorem. Statement is in the triangle in the right angle triangle. Hypotenuse the square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. This is the statement of Pythagoras. This is what we have to prove. So we are given with the triangle ABC right angle to B we draw perpendicular BD on AC. These are right angles. So given a triangle ABC where b is equal to angle b is equal to 90 degree to prove to prove that hypotenuse square ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square Construction Draw BD perpendicular to AC and now proof as we know in triangle ABC one plus two in triangle ABC angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 90 degree and similarly in triangle ADB one plus three is equal to 90 degree subtracting so Angle 2 minus angle 3 is equal to 0. Now we rub it. Therefore, angle 2 is equal to angle 3. And this angle is equal to this angle. Similarly, we can show that this angle is equal to this angle. Now, in triangle ADB, and triangle ABC that this is 4 and this is 5 so in triangle ADB this is 90 degree and this is 90 degree therefore angle 4 is equal to angle B angle 4 is equal to angle B Similarly, we have already proved 3 is equal to 2, angle 3 is equal to angle 2. Therefore, triangle ADB, we now write it down in the cyclic order, A corresponding point here, B, and D is equal to B. This is wrong here. A is equal to A. This is A. And angle D is equal to angle B. Right angle triangle. And B is equal to angle C. Implies that AD upon AB. 
is equal to dv upon dc is equal to ab upon ac now this proportionality from this proportionality we choose one of them this and this implies that cross multiply this so we get ab square is equal to ac into ad this is real number one similarly we now can prove in this tangle and this tangle in tangle c d b in tangle c d b and triangle a b c this tangle c d b so angle c is equal to angle c common to both and now 2 is equal to 3 angle 2 is equal to angle 3 we have already proved it so triangle cdv is similar to triangle c is common to both d means right angle triangle this one is equal to b and third one is b this is equal to a by a a x j implies that this upon this c d upon c v is equal to d v upon b a is equal to c v upon c a here again we have proportionality and out of which we suppose we let this and this probability prime c v square is equal to c a into c v this is equation number second and so we have the second result now we have the third one as in triangle a d b and triangle b d c this triangle and this triangle four is equal to six ninety degree each and this is equal to this angle three is equal to angle two so again triangle a d b a d b is similar to triangle corresponding point of a is b d is d and this b is c and this implies that a d upon a d upon b d is equal to d v upon d v upon d c is equal to a v upon b c implies that so here we will choose these two cross multiplying so b d square is equal to b d square is equal to a d into d c this is equation number third so we have in fact three square what is called as square identities now we take the first two one and add them first two one add them the first one is b a square is equal to this into this from first and second b a square is equal to a d plus a d into a c and v c square is equal to 
सी डी इंटू सी एडिंग बहुत दिस एंड दिस वी हैव पी ए स्क्वेयर प्लस बी सी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू दिस प्लस दिस ए डी इंटू ए सी प्लस सी डी इंटू सी एयर ए सी इज कॉमन वॉट रिमेन ए डी प्लस सी डी एंड ए सी इंटू दिस इज इक्वल टू ए सी एंड सो दिस इज इक्वल टू ए सी स्क्वेयर एंड हैंस वी कैन राइट इन ऑर्डर ए बी स्क्वेयर प्लस बी सी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ए सी स्क्वेयर प्रूफ दिस इज वॉट वी हैव प्रूफ एज आइथोलिस्टोरम नो है the converse theorem converse theorem of pythagoras we say that the triangle if the longest side square is equal to rest of the side square of the two sides then it must be a rectangular triangle now let us prove it given a triangle abc given a triangle abc such that is this square is equal to this square plus this square to prove that angle b is 90 degree that is triangle abc is right angle triangle now we have a construction here in the construction we draw a triangle pqr such that ab is equal to pq and bc is equal to qr so this angle is 90 degree we have drawn pq or the right angle triangle right angle at q so pr square is equal to pq square plus qr square Now since this is equal by construction, this is equal to this, and this is equal to this, we will be replaced both the values. P R square is equal to A B square plus B C square, and this implies that this two is equal to A C square, as given in from equation one. Equation one. And this implies that PR is equal to AC. Hence, triangle ABC is also a right angle triangle. And so this proves the converse theorem. We now can take. A few questions. For example, we are given with a triangle whose sides are six, eight, and ten, and we have to identify whether ABC is a right angle triangle or not. and for that as we know longest side is ac the so longest side square ac square is equal to 10 square is equal to 100 and similarly the other two side square is equal to that means ab square plus bc square 
is equal to a b is 6 square plus 8 square and this is equal to 36 plus 84 64 sorry and this is 100 and therefore a c square is equal to a b square plus b c square this implies that a b c is a right angle triangle and similarly we have another question second question a b c is a triangle where sides are given as 8, 15 and 17. So the longer side is 17. The longest side B C square is equal to 17 square and A B square that's over two sides square. A B square plus A C square is equal to 80 square plus 15 square and this is 64 plus 225 289 and 17 square is equal to 289 hence BC square is equal to AB square plus AC square therefore the given angle is ABC is a right angle triangle. A question. Here is a triangle. ABC. So ABC is a triangle with B is 90 degree. B D is drop perpendicular. Therefore, we have to prove the three identities. The first one is B A square is equal to A D into A C. Second is B C square is equal to CD into CA. In the theorem, we have already proved this, these two identities. In fact, this is angle 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. And then this is 5 and 6, 90 degree each. So, in triangle A, D, B, and triangle ADB, ADB, and in triangle ABC. Angle 6 is equal to angle B. This is 90, this is 90. And A is common to both. A is equal to A. Therefore, triangle ADB is similar to triangle. Corresponding point of A is A. T is B and uh, this B is C. Therefore, in cyclic order, AD upon AB is equal to BB upon VC and this is equal to AB upon AC. Now this is one result which is very important has been already asked in the examination. Second result is we take from this and this. We get AB square is equal to AC into AD. This is first result proved. And similarly we can prove the second result. Now in triangle BDC. In triangle BDC and triangle ABC.
entangle CDB and triangle CBA CD upon CD something wrong no entangle ADB and triangle CDB this triangle and this triangle angle 3 is equal to angle 2 we have already proved before and D is equal to 5, 6 is equal to 5, 90 degree each. So by A axiom, triangle ADB is similar to triangle A ka corresponding point ho gaya, B. This. D is D. And C, ADB, B is C. And this implies that AB upon BD is equal to DB upon DC is equal to AB upon BC. And this implies that we consider this one cross multiplying. Then we had BD square is equal to AB. into DC. In the cyclic order we can write it down like this. So BD square is equal to DC into BA. So we have these three proved. They are called identities. Square identities. Very important for the young people to do.